Hi, thanks for joining me. In this video, I want to discuss what are some of the common cases or some of the common questions I get at the firm. Uh, just yesterday, I had this client who's an Indian national employed as, in India as a manager, and he contacted us wishes, wishing to come to Canada as a transfer. So automatically, when I do the consultation, I assess, I ask a bunch of questions and then outline options for my clients. As you can see, a possible future um, way of coming to Canada would be the intra-company transfer application. As I stated, this was an Indian national who works overseas for the same company. There's a company here in Canada, but has not met the one year component. So for an intra-company transferee, remember there are three main components. One is the qualified relationship between the two companies. So the company in this case in India and the one in Canada, you demonstrate that qualifying relationships by the shares. So if the company is owned hundred percent by the Indian owner, then that individual should own the company hundred percent in Canada. The share should be proportionate. Okay. It doesn't have to be equal. That's the first component. Second component is where this individual does not meet the requirement they have to demonstrate as the applicant that they have one year of experience in the foreign company. So in this case, India, and the third component is specialized knowledge, executive or managerial position. So I did inform this applicant that, listen, we can do the ICT application in about six months when you qualify for it. Or if you're in urgent need, we can also submit an LMIA application. So assuming that, in, in your case, if you don't meet the ICT requirements because of one of these criteria are not met, one of the things that you can request the Canadian employer is to do an LMIA. An LMIA is a Canadian company who's looking to hire a foreign employee and they do recruitment efforts and demonstrate to Service Canada that that position is not readily met, meaning there's that vacancy, they've done recruitment efforts, they weren't able to find a Canadian or permanent residence to fill the position, and that's why they have to go overseas and find the applicant. So those are the two options that this client has, and you might be in the same position. One is an immediate option, which is the LMIA, and one is the ICT, which in this particular case, he would have qualified in six months. It's important that you understand that a lot of times clients have multiple options. It's not just one. The question is, which option is best for you? To find out, please give us a call. I'll be waiting. Thank you. Until next time.